For more on this story, we're going to go to GMA's legal analyst, Dan Abrams. And, and Dan, the, the gas can testimony is, was really crucial and jumped out at everybody because it was presented by the defense attorneys, and yet it could have helped the prosecution. Oh, it, it, I think it helps the prosecution enormously. If you view this case the way I do, which is that there's almost no chance she's going to get acquitted. The mm. question is, can she possibly get a second-degree murder charge? Premeditation becomes absolutely crucial for prosecutors. Right. The gas cans are incredibly powerful evidence to support the prosecution's theory that this didn't just happen. There wasn't a fight. There wasn't an incident. It wasn't a heat of the moment passion. Exactly. Thing. She thought about it and she planned it. And that's why the idea of getting uh, these gas canisters so that she wouldn't have to stop anywhere along the way is very important testimony Wouldn't for have the prosecution. Wouldn't to stop along the way and leave a record of That's right, and then that you know, journey. be seen at a uh, gas station on a, on a camera or whatever the case may be. Now, the problem for because of course, it's important to point out her first story was that she had nothing to do with this murder; that, it wasn't anywhere near it. That is important because that that was her first story. That's the story she went with, uh, and it was only after they found photographs uh, at the scene and other evidence came forward with blood, etc., that she was directly linked back to the scene. And also devastating, you say, for the defense was the fact that this ex-boyfriend of hers on the stand testified about their sex life and well, about and, the and fact that it was adventurous uh, and she had previously been testifying or her story was that she was forced to do certain things by the victim and that that's why she retaliated. Again, another important point brought out by prosecutors because that is the defense. The defense is he was controlling her, uh, he was hurting her. Uh, and this is their way of saying, and p part of the way that they claimed that, that, that controlling occurred was by sex. Mm -hmm. And so by bringing forth this testimony, the prosecution can now say, wait a sec, this is not so dissimilar from anything else she'd done in her life. So good day, bad day for the defense? Oh, it's a bad day, I think. Yeah. All right. And, and remember, it's day one of the defense, and I'm saying bad day for the defense. Not good. Not great. All right. Dan Another Abrams. bad day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.